Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Paper Sweets. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, for today's video, I'll be sharing some dyes and stamps for this month for Coco and Reno for their monthly subscription. And as always, they come in a fun little pouch and then another one um, that I did not bring out. So this month we have Ruffles and Doilies and it's a really fun uh, collaboration set with uh, Michelle Pink Strawberries and I'll link her channel in the description box below. She has some really fun tutorials and just great ideas on her channel so I love when she collaborates um, with Coco and Reno. So I did take them out of the packaging um, and you have some border dyes so just really cute little borders you get three and we have a little doily, and I measured it. It measures um, about three and a quarter inches across. So I like the size on that. And two of the ruffle dies, a larger one, and one that's a little bit smaller. So these are really fun. I've been having um, a lot of fun with these already. So I have some samples for you. I've been playing around with different um, ways to add some texture or a little something to the centers so I did share these on Instagram so for this one I did some zigzag stitching down the center and I sewed down some of this little fuzzy soft trim to add some texture and I love the fall colors on this one and just a little bow in the center this one I added um, some spider uh, ribbon that I had in my stash for Halloween and I love adding the um, splatter mesh from Dollar Tree. So that's what this one has on there. And then this one I just sewed down some eyelash trim. Also with the zigzag. So those are a couple little ways to add uh, a little something to the centers. And here's the doily cut out. And one of the borders. I don't think I've cut them all out. But this one's really nice and delicate. And I did do a bag topper using the Strawberry Milkshake paper collection, but um, I sent that out already, so I don't have it to share. And then also I didn't share um, the stamps. These are so cute. These ones are perfect for um, planners. And I love the sentiments this month. Uh, Let your dreams blossom, stay wild. So those are those. And this is my favorite set. This one says, Le uh, live life in full bloom, and a peony for your thoughts, and then of course, um, all the florals. So I think that one's really pretty, and I can't wait to make a card with that. And then I do have a few other, um, just samples. This one, I just cut out because I'm doing a mini album, finishing up a mini album, and I wanted to use some of the ruffle dies and border dies on that. So I'll be sharing that soon. And then I have some bag toppers for Halloween. These ones are made using the smaller uh, ruffle die. And the word dies here in the center are from Scrap Diva Designs. And um, this little witch, um, like little witch legs and dress are from a die that I just had in my stash from a while ago. So I thought these would be cute just to add as a little bag topper. So there's that one, and then this one here. This one says boo. And again, the this is the smaller of the ruffle dies. So it just fit it perfectly. So cute. And the paper on those is by DCWV, Happy Halloween. And then these, I think, turned out so cute. Um, I think I might do a tutorial on these because I didn't use any dies creating the... Um, the coffin and um, I added a little uh, like halfway up there's vellum to create a little pocket to add some goodies and um, I added this little boot die here it's from Tonic Studios it comes in a set and there's another word die there and um, the ruffle die from Coco and Reno this is the larger one super cute so then I just did some stitching with some orange thread and it's actually a double pocket so there's the vellum pocket um, here in the front 
and then on the back before I glued it together um, I did cut out like this little section here so that it would create another little pocket in the back there and then I just glued along the edges you know so I could stick something in the back and also something in the front so I love how these turned out so let me know if you'd like a, a quick little tutorial measurements like I said no dies so anyone can make it and here's the other one so cute with the little witch hat and again the ruffle dies they're just so perfect for um, so many projects and I add a little charm here <clears throat> to the witch hat a little spider there and again just stitching add an, a few little puffy stickers and bling and the back little notch out for the back pocket so those are my a few little project shares using um, the ruffle dies from Coco and Reno. And um, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed taking a look. And again, let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on the little coffin pockets. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.